Hello, 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 we've got We've got some exciting news and it's not this. That's fine. It is not this. Together. This is it guys, this is the new, new truck in town, we're excited to see what is in it, it said Absima and box it says thing green, so I kind of like that, so without further ado, let's get the ball game rolling. Excitement, excitement. Okay. Whoo! Whoa. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, Absima Sherpa. It's ready. You can see that we've got. Nice decal sheet. Uh, oh, we've got a nice book. The bits in it. That looks like say steering link. Uh, that's tools. Ooh. So what these are? The looks of things. I can tell you that these are number plates. These are number plates. That's good. brilliant. Oh, oh! Let's leave the truck for last. We'll see what's in this box. Oh yes, that is the radio. So let's leave that in the chair. more boxes inside the boxes oh so these are the wheels wow wow pilot locks as well Then the last box we need to open is the radio box. Uh, file that. Wow, this feels nice. Wow, six channels. Five, six. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, on, off. Hmm, next drop. Ah, so this would actually so so it's basically a rebranded Dumbro. Yeah, it's a rebranded Dumbro. So it's a CR6S and it has a USB probably update or charging. Let's see what this is. This takes four AA batteries. Guys, looks like yep. This battery case inside can be was removable, so you could slot your remote recharge of the batteries in it. Or a battery pack. Well, could use regular recharge of batteries or a two S or one S LiPo case inside that. I need to know what these are. So these are trims. These two bottom ones, I need to read the manual. What these look like, there is a throttle EPA on this one. It's black throttle EPA, I need to read that. Well, the radio feels very good. Springy, plastic, 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 yeah, feels good. Channels feels good. I think these are for the dips, and these are for the gearbox. I think this is for the lights. But we'll get into that in a deeper set. So let's get underneath the wood of this thing. Body. Oh my gosh, this thing is plastic. Nice running board. This thing look absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I'm glad I went for the orange. Okay, I went for the orange. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. This thing. These cans look seems as if they are as they're moving. I think they are independent mounted, so you can remove one if you want. I think you can buy the spare wheel carrier fit on this. I think it's 12 pounds something. The spare wheel carrier can be fitted and this can be removed. Go on the roof. Uh, these are those plastics. Hmm. These are those cheap plastics, it's fine, I'm going to replace those. This is plastic, but I've got... I've got some goodies. Just a sneak preview. I've got some goodies. <laughs> it's coming soon to the channel. That's a wrench kit. And that bumper is iron. Or metal. This LED light is sweet. LED light, check out the look. That LED light is sweet. Eh? Search lamps, got the search lamps. Oh, search lamps. Not sweet. Oh my days. This truck is sweet. Oh, it's actually lights. It's like bumper lights. Let's get that focus. Yeah, it's fender lights. We've modified these into orange. Yep. This thing is sweet. Let's look at the back again. To the details. No, I need to take the mirror my guys. I'm gonna take the camera out so I can get a thorough run throughout this thing. Just silence. Just silence. This thing is beautiful. Look, so there's actual so there's door handles, there's mirrors, there's, there's the joints, or the hinges, yep, there's filler cap, there's actual handles again. This thing is gorgeous. The body, 
Ooh. There's a snorkel with hole. So we can see that. So that snorkel has a hole in it. The searchlights are actually telescopic as well. So they move up, down, and left, right. The searchlights are beautiful. Turn that like that. Headlamps. Oh, those looks like it. <laughs> HIDs. Whoa. This thing is absolutely beautiful, and that's where the number plate goes. And back, and that's I've got something for that. Oh man, that's it. RC Neil. That must that's my number plate. It's going right there. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh all right let's see what's underneath the wood all right so the body is held on by magnets and they are pretty strong oh that's it oh my days oh my days this thing is beautiful So that looks like a 550, yep, that looks like a 550, a 540 motor, I think it's 21 turns, I'm not sure I need to research that. Yeah, that's the Hobby Wing 1060, yep, I think that's Hobby Wing 1060 crawler ESC, let's see if I can see that. Yeah, that's it. There. Might not be able to see it here. Just a 1060 waterproof. I've got upgrade for this. I've got the 1080 for this one, so that's gonna be out any minute. These are the magnets for the body. Uh, these are uh, the front and the rear diff locks, servos, micro servos. Not worried about this, this changing the SC so that will be changed. That's the receiver box, that's the massive two speed transmission, and that's the trans gear selector. That is nice, nice battery tree. Hmm. It's a pretty big battery tree. Let's see what my 5000 IPO. That's a 5200 light bulb. Pull that out the back, check that out. Massive. No, 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 that's overkill. <laughs> Let's try. Yeah, so the the tree is light would fit. If it was a bit smaller, it would have fit. Let's look at the lights from inside. Everything I think that's, that's JS. I think that's JST connector. That is nice. A nice foam protector for the servo. That is nice, guys. This is nice. I think this thing is gonna give the Traxxas, the TRX4 guys, a run for the money. It's very cheap. Compared to the Traxxas, it is very cheap compared to the Traxxas and these magnets. I'm going to change these. don't like these. So I'm going to find a way to mount the magnets and get rid of those. But this thing is simply beautiful. Set that properly. Oh my days. Let's pause the video and flip it over so we can see what's underneath this thing yes yeah, so I noticed it came with these cable ties like it was cable tied in the box and somewhere but what I'm gonna do is cut that cut that file that whoa so that's portal diffs the plastic but it's portal diffs which makes a massive difference huge difference in terms of ground clearance that is proper portal lift guys and I like, like the servo wires mounting 
for the diff locks. So the Kima, that's, that's a terrible layer underneath. Goes on. It's very neat and tidy. I've got covers coming for that. Covers coming for that. For that. I think there's one coming for the back. I'm not sure. These bars are thick. Nice. Hmm. Not so soft, but yeah, can work. A bit springy, but can work. Room for improvement. Ooh, that damper. So the front steering link is actually a damper. And it does work well. And CNC aluminium frame. Abyss. Absima. I keep saying Abysma. Oh, nice fender flares. Well, fenders, so you know that it won't get dirt underneath the car. So it's basically completely sealed. All the way down. The drive shaft is telescopic as well. So, uh, so these might need greasing from time to time. Wow, let's get the wheels on this thing. Mm. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat on. Turn the fan off, so you guys can hear for yourselves how quiet that servo is. Listen. Unfortunately, I'm going to be upgrading the server to 20 kgs, so uh, I'll keep it as spare though. But there's lights. Turn right indicator, left indicator. Let's see what's at the back. <laughs> right indicator is orange, it's actually orange, it's not red, it's orange. It's not red, it's orange. The LED setup is orange, but the casing is red. 
and this that. So what I'm gonna do is get whites, put here, put these here, and then put the red ones here and here. Uh, let's see what Ooh. 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 Very responsive. Ooh, look at that. So like I said, I can't see this buff a little bit. Very responsive. Now let's see what channel four does. Oh what channel three, what channel three does. Ooh. See that? Oh, that's a gearbox. So channel three changes the gear to that slow gear. So that's first speed. That's second second gear. So first gear, second gear, first gear. And then second gear. Ooh! Ooh! That's two S. Now let's see the lights. So I think the lights are channel four. Ooh, blinding lights, blinding lights. Yep, I was correct. Yeah, that's flashing. It's on. So, so all the way is off. First setting. Flashes, second setting, stays on. That is bright. That is bright. Let me turn the lights off. Let me turn the lights off. Whoa. I'm falling over. This thing is bright. You guys see the carbon Z here? Yep. You can see the plane. This thing is bright. Turn it off. Now let's check the rock crawler's most important thing and crawler. It's the diff locks. Now the moment these are the diffs as you I think that's front I think that's rear yes I think that's front and rear so let's drive so at the moment yep so at the moment it's open diffs so the diffs are fully open so pull that one I need to fix that properly <laughs> Yep, so the diffs are open at the moment. Like the front ones. Yep, can you hear that spin? No. That's it. Lock. The rear ones are still open, so if I do that, the front ones are still open, but these are still open, so lock the rear ones. No. Yep. 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 Unlock the front ones. See that? Beautiful. So the rear ones are locked and the front ones are free. So this, this is technically would be rear wheel drive. Technically, if it gets into any trouble, it would be the rear wheels pulling it out, not the front wheels. And if it gets into trouble, the front ones are locked, the rear ones are locked. Technically, it would be front wheel drive now because the, the rear ones wouldn't have any use for you pulling yourself out. And that is brilliant.
Brilliant. So I've just investigated what that noise, what this that noise was, and it's completely fine. It's completely fine. It's just uh, it's just these vibrating. It's completely fine. I think the goes after certain speed. It cooks completely quiet. Which is the CV giant coupling. The CV giant drive shaft coupling. Because I watched that, that noise is completely fine. So no vibration. But overall view of this truck. So here is my overall view of this truck. Overall view of this truck. Brilliant. Extremely brilliant. This thing is amazing. This. Articulation is good. Overall, view of this truck is just amazing. It's a good, cheap truck. That one is going. The other one is going. Yeah, unfortunately, this is going. It has the good stops in it. Quick run 10 year ip, uh, sport tune 45t. It has all the good stops in it. So, most of those good stops are going to be in this. And we've also got, we've got the stickers. Well, that's not the stickers. Where is the stickers? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Something like that as well. We've got the stickers to fit and more goodies. We've got our uh, <coughs> we've got our wine wrench to fit, which will be sitting. And that guys is the stock. <laughs> That's the stock bumper that came with it. This is the metal one. That's the stock one and the fit the wrench fits right. It just fits like a glove. So I've got that wrench to fit. I've got buckles to fit. Controllers. So yeah, stay tuned for the upgrade. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the upgrade. I'm gonna use a 3S. So, this is gonna be my butter of choice. This 3S. For this truck. So, yep. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Peace. Take care. God bless.